Hello everyone, welcome to the video session of Introduction to Event Management. Today, we will be focusing on the final part of the module 2, which comprises of organizing the task and assigning the responsibilities and the role of communication in event management. So, let's have a look on the steps which are involved while you are organizing the task in the event management. The first main step is objective. You must be clear about your objective. As an event manager, you must ensure that what is your objective, why you are holding this particular event, what will be your target audience, as well as what it will uh, return to you in this yield or what return you will yield in this event. Next is the planning. Now, planning is very crucial in event management. As an event manager, you must give proper time for planning to the designers as well as the event planners. Next is the resource. Now, as an event manager, you need to make sure that you have enough resource available for the conduction of the event as well as the delivery of successful event. Next is the branding. Now, branding involves deciding the logo, the name and the vision of the event to identify all these three things in the event. Next is marketing. Now, what is branding and marketing? Branding means where you decide the name, vision and logo of the event as well as in marketing, you will market your product, you will brainstorm all possible problems to reach to your audience. You will decide your marketing strategies to market your event, that is to sell the show. Next is checklist. Checklist is the list of activities which you prepared, which you are going to perform in the event. So as an event manager, you need to make sure that you prepare a well-developed checklist according to the scheduled. Next is the delivery. Now, delivery can be as smooth as it can be. You need to make sure that you deliver the event as smooth as it is possible and as promised you have done to your target audience. Next is communication. Now, communication is very important in the event management. As an event manager, you need to be transparent enough to, to your team members to guide them and to motivate them and to make sure that they are well communicated about the standards to achieve and they are well updated about the latest information or happenings in the event. And last is the evaluation. Event manager needs to evaluate, needs to collect the feedback from the participants of the event and needs to assess that what were the loopholes in the event and can be made corrected in the upcoming or future events. Now, let's have a look on assigning responsibilities. As we have earlier uh, studied the technical staff, that how many people are involved in the technical staff of the event management. So, few of them are here to discuss. The first is the process owner. Now, process owners similar to the decision makers are responsible for the success of the event. Now, they are the heads and the develop the policies and procedures and which is mandatory for all to follow. Next is the system management architect. Now, system management architect designs the technical aspects of the event and provides solutions to meet the event proceedings. Next is the tool implementers. As the design provided by the architect, the tool implementers will install, configure and support system management tools to process the events on a further stage. Next is the support staff. Now, support staff handles all the problems with the systems and the platforms and will take it ahead and will share it to the managers. Next is the help desk. Similar to the support staff, help desk provides the first level of support to the users and provides the feedback to the managers which they have got from the users or the customers. And last is the managers. Now, managers need to make sure that the team members are strict to the policies and procedures when they are working as a team in the event. They need to make sure that the problems are addressed in a timely manner and the task and the accountability and responsibilities are equally shared with the team members. So this was all about the assigning responsibilities to the staff members. The next we move on to is the role of communication in the event management. The first main and important feature of communication is advertising and promotion in event management. Now, whenever you are advertising or promoting the event, you need to be very much careful regarding the channels you are using to communicate or marketing your event. You have done so much of hard work in preparing the planning schedule or preparing the checklist or all the pre-event or post-event during the 
uh, pre and post event work but unless and until your communication channel is strong you cannot achieve success in the event the next is the positive work environment if everyone is well communicated and there is a clear communication among the team members there will be positive work environment among the team and last is the less stress in the long run now once everyone is clear about their roles and responsibilities the standards to achieve in the event there is less stress in the long run the next we move on to is the multi channel use for communication in the event now nowadays we can use multiple channels to market our event to promote our event a single event on various channels those channels can be website ads print ads tele seminars emails videos articles or blogs as well as social media sites you can market you can promote your event on many of the communication channels like these and next we move on to is communication strategies the first is communication between all the parties involved in the event planning event manager need to make sure that there is a good communication between the people who are involved in the event planning for example the client the sponsor as well as the service providers or the vendors next is during the event itself the event manual or the site or the venue plan now it is important to make sure that a good communication tools are available pre event activities during the event and in the post event activities to be updated about the event and to have the latest information about the happenings of the event and last is the communication with the public at the event now this is the important strategy whenever you are communicating to public at the time of the event whether be it a verbal communication or a non verbal communication it is very important that you have a good communication strategies now if you are communicating non verbally make sure that you have information stands or printing media or the print materials hoardings or you have signage to communicate with the public so this was all about the organization of the task and events and the communication and assigning the responsibilities in the event management so hereby we complete our module 2 and module 3 will be starting in the upcoming video sessions thank you